Hey, what is good, my people? Look, I'm back with another Beast Talks video. Just got done with my push ups, didn't miss the wake up time. We hit the gym, did some other things for my online business. But this is what I want to talk to y'all about, man. It's, it's getting out of hand, but God isn't going to tell you the way that he's going to bless you. He's not going to give you the exact vision. He's not going to give you the exact plan. I don't know why. I don't know why. You can say why, you can say you're confused. You can be negative about it or you can choose it and say, hey, this is a positive thing, right? And I'm here to tell you this because you think your journey's over. Your journey isn't fucking over. It's so much in store for you. There's so much out there for you, but you just don't know how he's gonna give it to you. So this is what I mean. You gotta meet God halfway, big homie. You gotta put in some work too. You gotta keep the faith too. You gotta show God that you believe in what he's gonna do for you. And when you do that, you're gonna see the success you've been waiting for. So it's not that God doesn't work. It's not that prayer doesn't work. It's that you're not putting in enough work. That's it. You're not putting in enough. I saw this quote the other day and it's so fucking true. The guy, one of my mentors, he said, I'd rather fall to my knees when I see God by showing him how hard I work than pray and ask him for something. And I'm like, dude, that is more than right. Because God gave us everything we need. He gave us the ability to walk, to think, to have a heart to pump, to have a mindset, and you're wasting it. Every moment, you're just wasting it. When I sit back and I look at everything God has done for me, I'm like, fuck, there's so much more that I could be doing to show God what he made. That's how we show God we're thankful. So with God being confusing in your life, or you don't know if it's gonna work out for you, you don't know if you have a plan, bro, just keep believing. Just keep showing up another day, another day, another day. And dang, all of a sudden here goes exactly what you've been looking for. Sometimes we want his answer. Most, I always want his answer, but sometimes we only want God's answer when we want it. You need to want his answer all the time because his answer is gonna keep you away from a lot of problems that your answer would get you. At times I wanted to give up posting. At times I wanted to give up going to the gym. I wanted to give up coaching people, but I didn't give up because God kept waking me up saying, this is your purpose, go get it. Like today he woke me up, he said, this is your purpose, go get it. I don't give a fuck how you feel. This is your purpose, go, rent, go win the day. And most of you get stuck. You're trying to lose that weight. God's telling you, hey, go do that 30 minutes on the treadmill. Go count your macros and you'll lose the weight. But you're like, no, the 30 minutes is too hard. He's giving you the answer. You're too selfish. You're too lame for that. Fuck you, because it's not about you. It's about what he says. If you report to God and you say, use me, God, whatever path you want me to take, use me. He'll do it for you. Like I said, I've always had a problem with speaking. I've had a problem with speaking my mind because I've always been told to shut up. But I didn't know that the biggest blessing was on the other side of me speaking to people, speaking to the world, telling people what I've been through. I didn't know that. When I started to listen to God, that's when things started moving in the right direction. Am I where I wanna be? Not at all. But am I headed in the right direction? Yes, because I'm seeing and hearing God's message. And a lot of you guys see the message, message, you hear the message, you're just not willing to do the work. You're not willing to believe in it. And it's ungrateful. It's ungrateful to God, bro. I just want you to know you, you can keep doing this. You can keep doing this or you can choose God's message and you can say, look, God, I, I'm, I'm ungrateful. I'm wrong. I'm confused. And you can just say, God, use me. That's what you can do. Or you can say, you know what? I got this. I'm going to lean on my own understanding and never make it to where you want to be. That simple. That simple. We're blessed. We're up. We're getting in the best shape of our, of our life. We're making money. 
We're being the example for people. We're leaders. That's all you can do. That's what men do, bro. That's what men do. I don't give a fuck, man. I'm just learning to be free in pain. I'm learning to be free with happiness. I'm learning to be free with the work. And I think the biggest blessing is when you're doing the work. That's when you learn the most. If everything was handed to me right now, I'd just be like, well, I mean, this is cool. I enjoy it, but I'm not learning anything from it. I'm not building character from that. I build character through the process. Winning so much can enslave you, but you're gonna feel the most free when you're just putting in the work so much. And there's this quote, I think I said it before on here, success leads to comfort, comfort leads to failure. So the key is to stay uncomfortable, that's it. Stay uncomfortable, keep fighting, keep digging. And I always tell people, my first mentor is God, my second mentor is pain. Because in the process, that's when you're broken down. That's when you feel the most pain. That's when things aren't going your way, but you're learning so much. Just gotta take it, bro. You gotta keep going. It's another day, man. I ain't gonna hold y'all for too long. You need help with mindset, fitness, or nutrition? Click the link down below. Win the fucking day. We don't miss, and you know it's love, big dog.